Well, hello and welcome to Tohoman Another World. So, I have a fairly complete file, but I figured, why don't I start a new file right here. So, this game is a ROM hack of Pokemon Fire Red. However, there is one main difference, as implied in the title. Instead of Pokemon, we'll be having, uh, Toho characters. Well, I can just let Professor Oak explain. Hello there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Bonka. I believe that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Bonka Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Bonka. For some people, Bonka are pets, others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Bonka as a profession. But first, tell me a little about yourself. You're a girl, aren't you? What type are you? Well, hmm. <laughs> I'm not exactly a girl, however, since it doesn't give me the choice, I think I will choose girlish, because playing this game, I already know that the two choices are between Mary Bell and Rinko, and I'll go with uh, Mary here. So... Mm. Let's... Give her a nice name. That looks good. Right, so your name is Maybell. Yep. And this is my grandson. He's been your rival since you both were babies. Um, what was his name again? Now I know everyone names their rival something obscene or weird or very immature, maybe. However, I think I'll just stick with uh, Green here. It's a nice name. That's right, I remember now. His name is Green. Maybell, your very own Bonka, uh, Bonka legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Bonka awaits. Let's go. Maybell started her journey from the lovely house at Masara Town. Maybell left her house to start her journey. Maybell tried to leave Masara Town, but suddenly stopped by Professor Oak. Not the greatest English, but... <laughs> that was because Maybell didn't have any Bonka. Thus, Maybell and Green were given Bonka by the Professor from his very own collection. Maybell chose one out of three Bonka, and so did Green. Before Maybell and Green left, they had a Bonka battle to try out their own Bonka. After the battle, Mabel continued her journey. Mabel finally left Maso Town and went to Tokiwa City through Route 1. Mabel reached Tokiwa City and entered the, uh, Bunker Mart. Maybell received a package to deliver to Professor Oak. So Maybell delivered the parcel to Professor Oak in Masura Town. Maybell went back to Masura Town to deliver the parcel. Maybell delivered the parcel to Professor Oak. For some reason, Green was also in the Bonka lab. 
Then both Maribel and Green were given an IDOL Dex. IDOL Dex will automatically record the data of captured Bunker. Forgive me if I'm saying that word wrong. After that, Maribel continued her journey. Mary Bell then left Masara Town, but suddenly something happened. So, now I have control over Maybell here. And, as you could probably tell, that was the beginning of the normal Fire Red adventure. However, something obviously happened. We were attacked, and we ended up over here, so... Let's go and ask this person who came out last night to ask what went on. Ara, good morning. I'm glad you're awake. Do you remember what happened yesterday? Um, not really. I found you unconscious at the bottom of the stair to the shrine. Like you, you were attacked by Bonka, but what exactly happened to you? Oh, apparently I don't know. Huh? <laughs> you can't remember? Anyways, let's confirm the situation. Your name is Maribel. You don't remember anything besides your own name. You are amnesiac. You were found unconscious at the bottom of the stairs to the shrine by me, Hakuri Remu, the sh maiden of the shrine. Th that sums it up, doesn't it? Remu. Uh, even so, amnesia, huh? Anyways, until... I think of something, you can wander around here. Maybe your memories will come back that way. So, yeah, that's about the story. Uh, we somehow came over here and got attacked, and then we just kind of wound up here. So I guess we're just going to wander around and let's talk to some people. Chibi missed you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what sound that's supposed to be. What about you? Chibi Cherno. Wait for me. Eh, yeah. They're just being the old playful selves. Chibi Sukiya. Yep. It seems Chibi Sukiya is sleeping. Mizu Nara Tree. Ever since the thunder raised the landscape in the olden days, this tree has watched over the shrine as its guardian. Here is Shrine Seashore. Well, it doesn't appear that there's really anything left in the shrine, so let's head out, shall we? Whoa! Wait a minute. Stop, stop. Phew, that was close. There are a lot of dangerous bunker outside the shrine. You should know that from your own experience, right? Anyways, I have a good idea, so come here for a little bit. And visual glitches. Wonderful, I love those things. Anyways, I thought many of possibilities with my own powers don't seem like they'd be much help for you. But if you follow the mountain path west, you'll find a human village. There's a girl named Hidea Aku there. She is a very reliable person. Mary Bell received the town map. Oh good, they're back to Burr. The orbs. So... You can take one of my bonka in case you get attacked along the way. They're all there, so go ahead and choose one. 
So, here we have the starters. Uh, that's not Marissa doll. That is Chibi Marissa, the ordinary magician bunker. Do you want to pick her? Well, let's see what we have first. That's not a doll of me. That's a Chibi Remu, the Chibi Miko bunker. Do you want to pick her? No, not yet. Then lastly, that's not a Sane doll. Uh, that's a Chibi Sane, the Chibi Miko uh, Bonka. Apparently, I mispronounced her name. I don't know how it's actually supposed to be pronounced, so forgive me if I'm mispronouncing uh, Sane's name. But we will not pick her. Actually, I already decided which one I wanted for this playthrough. I am going to choose Marissa. Mostly because it's the only one I have not been in the game with yet, so I figured it'd be an interesting challenge to do a playthrough with one that I haven't used. Maybe I'll attain C. Marissa. Do you want to give him a nickname to C. Marissa? I don't normally give nicknames. I'm sorry to you people who really love your nicknames. So it's decided. I will tell Akyu uh, about you and your arrival. Also, that bonka is yours from now on. But remember to repay me when you regain your memories. Well then, goodbye for now. Now, but before we leave, let's check something. So we did pick up a bonka back in Kanto before leaving, being uh, the C Star S. It doesn't have much. It's only level five, pound and growl, very standard. It's a water type. So now we both have a water type and this electric type in C Marissa. Serious nature, brave nature, not those really matter. Marissa's holding an Oran Bay, which will be nice coming up very soon, as this game is considerably harder at some points than a normal Pokemon adventure. Uh, the abilities are Runaway, which makes escaping from wild Pokemon battles completely guaranteed, and then Pick Up, which means that Marissa may pick up some random items along the ground. Uh, just randomly, and they can be anything from rare candies or really expensive vitamins to orbs, which are this game's version of Pokeballs. So, of course, Marissa has all the normals, um, attacks, as well as Pursuit, a dark type attack, which will hit a Pokemon even if a Bonka, even if they switch out, but that won't be of much use for now. For now, let us move on and continue down our journey for one final thing before I end off this first episode. Looks like someone's back for more, but this time we have some way to defend ourselves. And relax, this Pokemon of Bonka is in fact shiny locked to always be shiny. You aren't missing anything by not catching it here. So for starters, I'm just going to continuously hit this thing as much as I can. That's really the only strategy I have is continuously just hit it over and over again. Uh, and don't be afraid to switch out to your backup. But for now, I'm doing just fine. Actually, now that I think about it, with my defense lowered, Leech Life is doing more and thus recovering more HP, so I think I will switch out to Marissa. to try and get rid of those defense drops. However, I'm not sure if this was a good idea or not. As Marissa doesn't have the best physical attack, it might not be able to do as much damage. However, that seems like a decent amount of damage. Note, even though Pursuit does have more base power, and it is special type due to being dark, and this is Generation 3, before the special physical split, 
Uh, Remilia here, the C Remilia, is poor dark type, so it does resist pursuit, meaning it only does half damage. Have well, just two more tackles should be enough to get rid of this C Remilia here. And there's my Ornberry going off, thankfully. That'll restore me back up to full health, making good use of it. However, this battle might be going on a bit longer than anticipated. Oh, nope. I, in fact, do actually knock it out with that tackle. Of course, since I did switch out, my EXP is split among my two Bonka, and thus... I don't receive the full amount, and I don't get a level 6, but that's not a problem yet. Well, then for today, we started our journey, managed to end up in this strange new place, were rescued by a shrine maiden, got two starter bunker, and even the, uh, finished our first battle. So I say that's enough for today, and why don't we uh, take a little break and save for now. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, bye.